I developed this practice as a self-coaching exercise when I was um, a, a very young leader in the corporate world. I took my first corporate gig at the age of 20 um, and was leading departments and was vice president of the company doing uh, around 800 million in annual sales when I was just 26 years old. And that company was Hooters. And so there, there, there really wasn't a long line of people waiting to be my mentor. And I had to figure out ways to give myself feedback and envision mentorship, if you will, or coaching. And, and while I had great leaders who gave me um, incredible direction and opportunities, having those outside perspectives was difficult during that era of my career. And so I developed a practice of uh, what started out as quarterly, became monthly, eventually became weekly. So I've been practicing this for just short of 20 years now, which is I envision someone I admire, step one, I then envision that person that I admire in my role tomorrow. I am gone. They take over. No time to send emails, slacks, hire people, fire people, change the system, address that franchisee that I know is a problem, uh, move that employee into a better role that I know is a better fit for them. So you get the point. Like It's abrupt. I'm now envisioning what I know about my condition, about my environment, but led by someone else that I admire on their first day. The third step in the exercise is asking what is one thing and the first thing that person would immediately do to make a positive impact on the business. The answer comes fairly immediately because it is somehow in the back of my mind, but because I'm blinded by my own progress, because the biggest problems I navigated three years ago seem so much bigger in comparison to the things that I'm navigating now. And, and so maybe I'm not giving things the attention they deserve that my new employees see that my great talent who's on the front lines or dealing with clients or customers that they see every day, but I'm distanced from it. And so it's likely not being attacked with that day one fire and energy that it would be on day one of someone I admire sitting in my seat. So I ask what's one thing they would do immediately to affect the business. The answer comes. And then I ask, why can't that be me? And that's a, that's a really interesting question to ask if you can have the humility and the courage to answer it honestly. And the reality is it can be me. So why isn't it me? Uh, why am I not acting on that thing in the way that someone I admire on day one in my seat would? And we know the answer.